Second my wife. Uh, thank you all for being here. We really appreciate it. Um, I want to thank Arkansas first, Coach Cal. I mean, for uh, obviously they have a, a he has a first of all he has a uh, he's so uh, widely respected and what he's done in the college the game and you know for him to come and play this game for us and play here and obviously the support in Arkansas and when it was a charity game so I just can't thank him enough for. Um, you know, he probably had 20, 20 schools calling him asking him to play. So can't thank him enough. Um, uh, can't thank him, the, the, the fans that came and supported it and, and uh, for, the, for the charity and uh, the Arkansas fans included. Uh, probably be the first time I thank the, opponent, thank the opponent's fans, but uh, we really, really do appreciate it. So um, really proud of our guys. We had a great 10 days of practice and how we responded down the stretch really uh, showed out. I mean, uh, uh, after that timeout, uh, our execution, uh, and I think it was down 13 if I have it right, I mean, our execution was about as good as it could be offensively, especially in, um, plays out of the timeout. Uh, did great execution. And then uh, just went on a run after it, just found it, just kind of stuck with it. So it was, as I told the guys afterwards, you learned it because of the 10 days of practice that we put in since our last scrimmage. I was proud of, I, I mean, I was demanding, uh, and I, I have to be demanding with this group. And, and they responded. And uh, we got different, uh, became different. And, and got better for it. And it had a little, you know, it was, wasn't, we weren't great early, uh, but we were really good uh, in the last, I don't know, six, seven minutes, whatever that was. But uh, really proud of our guys and how they responded against a really good team, really well-coached team, and uh, I think a great game. I mean, you know, I wish there were more people here to see this game, and, uh, but I can't thank uh, all the fans that came. Uh, what, a, what a great, uh, uh, great night. Thank you, Dickies, um, and... Uh, I ever think the barbecue place. Uh, I thought they're. I don't know if they're connected or not, but I just. I think they are some somewhat degree. So that's how I came up with that. But uh, uh, and then uh, uh, can't can't thank our guys. I, I mean, we had some good performances and we had some things that were uh, um, not so good. But you know, we, we battled and, and I just liked how we did it down the stretch. It was execution. I mean, in the last the last couple of plays, the fouling down the stretch and do it. we did it exactly with how you'd want to do it uh, down the stretch. And uh, again, we got to take, make them take the shot that they wanted to do, that we won. You mentioned the fouling down the stretch. That was Frankie. He also had a couple of really important baskets and lobs mm -hmm. to Ernest. Just talk about his performance tonight. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I think uh, – it's it's weird. I, it, it's and, and we saw that we we I thought we were practicing pretty well. We hit a low. We we play our first scrimmage and we didn't play like we were practicing. And even the start of this game, we didn't play like we were practicing. Like we we're over penetrating. And I think he did a little of that. But you know, we talked at halftime, and and I thought he was tremendous in the second half with just the passing that he did, and and even that run right out of the timeout, he made the right passes. So um, you know, he's he's different than what we've had because he really wants to pass. He's a pass first guy. And, and he takes great pride in his defense. And so I think we can really be different and be good uh, with them as our, our guards. I know we're new. I know we have so many new guys. And, you know, it's, it's uh, uh, I guess we're not picked as high as we've been. The, uh, we finished the last couple of years. But um, I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be good. And, and like they said, these 10 days were huge for us. Didn't shoot it great. The rebound is a little troubling. Uh, but we're not turning the basketball over. Um, and we're playing against really good teams. I mean, I try to get the best. I mean, a concerted effort. Obviously, we played Alabama, but with the two games, I wanted to play ex exhibitions if we could and the best teams we could possibly get. We did a pretty good job of doing that. So, um, again, thanks, uh, Coach Cal. So, so you said Ernest has to be the best big on the floor most nights. Nice. No. He kind of responded to that. He, he was good, and it's funny because, uh, you know, I, I still feel like he could have done more. Uh, but we got him 27 minutes. We said we had to hit 25 is what he has to play, but he has to do things right to do it. And there's a couple breakdowns on the run and uh, that he they did. But we're asking him to do a lot, but, you know, he should be doing a lot. And uh, that's what we're trying to get across to him. But, you know, defensively, he, he's unique. Uh, offensively, he's improved. Um, and he's exciting, fun, great kid. We have great kids. I'm just happy for them because they, they – they were different. They, they had to, we had to do things that they're not used to doing these last 10 days. I asked them to do things, and um, they were more focused. Uh, they became different in, in how they approached things, 
and now we got to do it after this game with a quick turnaround on Monday. A little different with the exhibition slash. Now you go play a home game in our arena, so uh, uh, we'll, we'll see how they handle this going forward. So we, we uh, Ernest was uh, was very good, but yet I still am demanding of him that he can be better. You talked about the defense on Tuesday and how the how the Arkansas team wants to get out and run. Yeah. Hard, you have to with yeah, I mean, um, you know, forty percent of the second half is what I think. I can't figure out these quarter things, but uh, um, uh, that's what we have to do. I mean, way too many. We, had, we gave him seven layups in the first half and and five threes, which is, uh, I think, uh, what we can't do. And uh, one was a bank, so we'll live with that. But uh, there's a couple breakdowns. And um, uh, certainly the uh, uh, defense got better in the second half. Uh, other thing really stood out to me is our eight turnovers, which we've been low turnovers in these games, so that's a, that's a good sign. That was our number one thing offensively. We had to cut down turnovers. That was a, uh, probably the worst de- uh, number we had in my career last year. Last year was that. And uh, it, it, it definitely was a hindrance to our uh, offensive uh, execution and efficiency. You're going to have to rely on young guys this year. What do you think of Mike and David? Yeah, I mean, we recruited them with that in mind. I mean, I think, you know, there's, there's, I'd never have been a guy that had to count on freshmen. I guess DeWan was the one, Taft was the one at Pittsburgh, uh, Desmond, Jalen. Um, you're probably going to struggle if you're doing that. Um, but, you know, there's different things in the, in the, in play. You're going to have to probably go with some, younger guys going forward here and physically they can do it punch and, and mike i mean physically i mean they have that they're going to have to use it but i thought they're both were, were really good and and uh, there's some things they got to work out things we got to get better at um but they're they care and they're physical and they're tough kids i don't i don't think either guys missed a practice the entire year i mean like 80 practices we've had so far uh, workouts you could say I don't think either one of them is good and and you know I mean we can go down and Jace is a freshman Isaiah is a freshman so I mean they can go down the list uh, Sean gave us some really good things too and he's been sick um, but uh, uh, we, we think with the three guards and we got to get uh, RJ and, and, and see where uh, Ashton get to but they're clearly ahead of everybody and we need those guys on the floor so for figuring out the forwards, I mean, every guy's been good. No one's been great. And that's kind of where you can see that with the rotation. We've started different lineups at that spot, and we're certainly not settled in uh, at that, those spots. Clearly, the two guards have been separated themselves and uh, are earnest, uh, uh, no question. But Punch is right there. And Malik's been really good for us. As I said, the most pleasant surprise uh, on that. But um, um, you know, he hasn't played uh, a lot uh, in the last year. You went 12 deep today. Is that something? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we can continue that, but um, uh, they've all earned it. They've worked hard. Um, we'll see. We'll see. And, and probably that was why we were able to come back strong, I think. I, I think both teams looked a little tired down the stretch as we were running up and down. There was a couple uh, possessions, and I think we uh, uh, maybe our depth helped us a little bit. You know, we wanted to, there was a couple plays where down the stretch where I didn't call a timeout, didn't call a play. They just seemed to be slow getting back, and we had a couple open looks where we just didn't uh, until we got the one from Brendan. So uh, let them go a little bit there, but I just felt that they looked more tired than us, and that's how we were able to get that open shot from uh, Brendan uh, down, the, down the stretch. How about them diving on the floor, huge play, hitting the three. Um, and, you know, that's what we're trying to get to. We've kind of figured he's a, a little better defender than we give. He's not the best, most athletic, the quickest guy, but he's in the right place often and uh, seems to rebound um, at, a, at, a, at a pretty good rate. Though he only had two today, but uh, that was used. He's, he's the guy that makes the least amount of mistakes. I guess the three turnovers were, were uh, uh, steals, I should say, were huge for him. But um, certainly a... Uh, um, We'll find those five guys. It's going to be hard to figure out those forwards. Those five guys. That that thing is going to be a battle, and uh, we're going to have to figure that out. I, or maybe we don't. It'll be a different guy each time. Looks like you guys are really you found an exploit there with the high screen and roll and just letting your day kind of crash to the basket. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, we have, and and we didn't do it last week uh, or two weeks ago, and, and, you know, we addressed it, and I was very uh, uh, disappointed in myself for not addressing it during the game or getting it changed during the game, but we we spent 10, day, 10 days on it, and 
Um, you know, we uh, it was it was what made us better to, uh, offensively. We got to shoot a little better. I thought our, our I thought we what we really did better at the end was we penetrated the pass, which is probably my favorite phrase. And uh, we didn't do it early. We, we they, they blocked some shots that were simply just bad shots. I don't know how many blocks did they have? Ten. I mean, like we some of them were with their armpits. So I mean, that's probably not a good read. And. Uh, um, that's, you know, I explained it to him, I, and then we did down the stretch, uh, and that was the difference. We, we, we got better there. Any last question? Good. Just okay. can't thank the uh, people for supporting it and being there, uh, no matter what color they're wearing. So, thank you all. Did I get the uh, barbecue question right? Did anybody hear that? I think it's an EY, not an IDS. Oh, is it different? Yeah, I think it's different. I think it is. Uh, well, the players were like, uh, they're like, because oh, I was calling the play. I did not know that was going to be the case. And uh, I said, I thought I was going to meet with them and talk to them. But the players were like, yeah, they're hearing the play. They're hearing the play. Well, we got an open shot out of it. So it, it, they, they might hear it. They, they may know what the play it is, what we're calling it, but uh, we just had to execute it. So they were, they were very dis, dis, uh, bothered by that. But it just goes to show, hopefully, a lesson execution matters. All right.